Ontario's precious wetlands, woodlands, wildlife habitat, and the conservation authorities that look after them are under threat by a government that seems hell-bent on cutting environmental protections and paving over paradise. I'm here at Duffins Creek Wetland Complex, uh, one of the largest coastal wetlands on north shore of Lake Ontario. It straddles two urban areas of Ajax and Pickering um, and is on the traditional territory of Williams Treaty First Nations. I'm here to see firsthand the latest lands on the chopping block of this Ford government's relentless pursuit to cut red tape and give away our natural heritage to big developers. Just the other week, the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing granted a developer's request to rezone this area so that they can build a 22 hectare warehouse complex. Despite the fact that the lands I'm standing on are considered provincially significant wetlands and therefore protected under provincial planning policy. How did they do it? Well, the Ford government used one of its latest favorite toys in its toy box, something called a Ministerial Zoning Order, or MZO. MZOs were created for emergency purposes. They allow the province, the minister, to override provincial policy to override municipal policy and to rubber stamp developments without public input, due process or environmental assessments. The Ford government has been handing them out like candy, over 30 in the last two years alone and still many, many more under request. But luckily the public is getting wise to this government's underhanded deregulation ways. The media reported on the MZO for Duffins Creek and thousands of you wrote in to the minister to oppose it. Still more of you wrote to the Toronto Region Conservation Authority to ask them to reject this permit. That's right, conservation authorities like the TRCA do have the power to reject permits on land where they work, like provincially significant wetlands. So what did the Ford government do? They've doubled down. Just last week, they introduced their provincial budget, which contained legislation to undermine and take away those powers of conservation authorities. We can't let this happen. I don't have to tell you the importance of our vital wetlands, woodlands, and wildlife habitat for public recreation, for public use, and for the vital ecosystem services that they provide, such as cleaning water, preventing flooding, and providing homes to biodiversity. I don't need to tell you that they should be managed by science-based organizations like conservation authorities and not by politics and the biggest buck. But someone does need to tell the Ford government. That's where we need all hands on deck. Contact your MPP, no matter what their political stripe, call them email them, ask for a meeting, tell them what you think about the flagrant use of MZOs to override environmental protections. Tell them what you think about the proposal to cut the power of conservation authorities to protect significant wetlands. Tell them your vote will not go to a government that does not respect environmental protections. You could sign up for our action alert to get the latest updates on these stories and more.